knew that I had things to learn because I had never been a judge before, but there are lots of different ways of preparing for this job. Justice Elena Kagan is the youngest justice on the court, and two of her secrets for success are relationship building and reaching across the aisle. She was the first female dean of the Harvard Law School and the first woman selected as Solicitor General, representing the Obama administration before the same bench she would soon join. Was it intimidating to start judging here at the Supreme Court, here at the top? There always has to be a first time. And uh, uh, when, when I started as SG, my first argument, I was a little bit nervous about it. I started uh, not only at the top in terms of the court, starting at the Supreme Court, uh, I never uh, 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 argued before any appellate court before, but I also started on a, in a particularly important case where there was a lot of uh, press attention, a lot of public attention generally, and that was the Citizens United case. So it was a bit nerve-wracking. The Citizens United case removed restrictions on corporate spending in elections on the grounds of free speech under the protection of the First Amendment. Kagan's argument lost, but she gained confidence as she began to speak. The butterflies were definitely going, but, um, but when I stood up to speak, you know, words started coming out of my mouth, and Justice Scalia actually did me a favor. He asked me a question straight away within the first 15 seconds. And once the questions started rolling, you know, you have to answer them. And, uh, uh, you know, pretty soon in, I thought, okay, this is going okay. Justice Scalia has since become Justice Kagan's hunting buddy, as Justice Kagan asked him to help her fulfill a confirmation pledge to try the sport in an effort to appease conservatives about her thoughts on the Second Amendment. What is it like to go hunting for large game with Justice Antonin Scalia, and why do you do it? Uh, well, it's fun. Uh, uh, mostly we bird shoot, actually, although we once went to Wyoming for three days, and we, uh, we went with a deer and an antelope license, and we, we shot a couple of deer. Kagan and Scalia don't see eye to eye on many court issues, but as fellow hunters... And, uh, there's nobody I'd rather do that with. He's interesting, he's funny, he's charming. Uh, he's, uh, uh, he has a great heart and a great spirit, I think. Do you think that helps build consensus? I think uh, to the extent that people are like that, um, uh, you know, it's not going to be in every case once again, and Justice Scalia has been known to disagree sharply and strenuously with people, as have I. But uh, to the extent that you uh, really like your colleagues around the table, I think that that can help in lots of different ways, in lots of different cases. At Harvard University Law School, where Kagan still teaches every September before the court term begins, Kagan is credited with bringing factions together, and she applauds Chief Justice John Roberts' efforts to build unity on the court. There have been times when you look back in Supreme Court history where there were uh, real dislikes, I mean almost pathological hatreds. Um, we so don't come anywhere close to that. I think we all genuinely uh, admire each other and genuinely like each other. Maybe it's what surprised me most when I, when I got on the court. Kagan first worked on the court more than two decades ago as a clerk to then Justice Thurgood Marshall. And he was a, a great judge, but he was also a great lawyer. I mean, he, uh, I think, was the greatest lawyer of the 20th century. What I was always struck by when uh, I, I talked with him was how he could take any case and within a pretty short period of time, he could just see to the heart of the case. I tried to do it myself when I started practicing law and I still think about it as a judge. It's like, well, what's, what's the, the really central issue in this case? What's the issue where once you see the answer to that, everything else falls into place? Most of Kagan's legal career has been as an educator. She is the daughter of a teacher and early on learned the way to the top. Well, my mother taught me to work hard in my life. Yeah, no, I'm a hard worker. I've, I've worked hard throughout my life. I worked hard when I was a student. I worked hard when I was a young lawyer. I work hard now. It's a lifestyle she built on at Princeton, Oxford, and Harvard universities, and then as a teacher at the University of Chicago Law School and as dean of the Harvard Law School. She met President Obama at the University of Chicago, a fellow teacher who would later make her part of his administration and subsequently nominate her to the bench. I think it's a good thing in general to see if you can forge consensus in every case uh, without giving up on strong commitments and convictions about about how a case should come out, and I would like to think that, um, that I'm helpful uh, in, that, in that task.